I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
They're coming back. Attention, people. Oh, look, it's the hero. Why the lights off? It's nighttime at the station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Where to now? Left, across the square! Oh, hey, Tamir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. <laughs> hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah, yeah, How right? else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. <coughs> Uncle Artyom! Don't worry, I believe you! 
<laughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> Stop putting Stop delusions into oh his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for Artyom... Enough. Taught him this, art him that, like a broken record. Had the guys not made it in time. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a true brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Oh, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are you are in the hospital, guys, huh? you're just not crowding him. <sighs> Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah, I knew it. You guys are like, so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Did you hear that? Again! decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here.
Hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Save us a detour. Shit. Come up now. I got you. Not the order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for What's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by these here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They don't need any masks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 
Watchmen broke through. Short. This is just workers of done for. Keep your weapons straight on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? Watchman! A human! How did you? Oh, oh my God! It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we have both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. 
Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. War 
is still going on, and you behave like fucking kids. All the guards will be here soon. Damn! Don't shoot. Don't I'm with him. I'm with you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Oh, I'm not very Who are you? I'm Brian Valerich Gerbeck, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to it. I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. Hey. 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 Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyom, incoming, two of them. I'll give you some cover from above.
The guards won't let us get away. We have to do something about them first. But your the enemy is on you. The place is crawling with guards. They must be dealt with. Do something about the guards, please. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tian. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. More guards! Do it! 
do we do now? What? together. legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my call, and you're not. ...misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. If, if not, not us, then who? who? All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch some air. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them!
you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. For me, that's some armor. But look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and everything. Yeah. 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 Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, yes, stop uh, But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Hammer, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally some good stuff. Now, keep racing to a stop. Well, the grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started the fault, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime.
we are not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs. <laughs>